the dominant caste society does not even want to recognize that Dalit people can think and can be intellectual. Therefore, we are completely left out of the argumentative space even. We are not even human beings uh, according to the Hindu scriptures. I would say that caste system becomes the worst form of uh, discrimination because somehow it has received religious sanctity and that is why it is, becomes very difficult at times to really abolish it. Hello Captains of Indian Industry. The crisis is going and so the distrust between the untouchables and touchables. We all know the truth that Dalits create wealth but do not possess it. We labored for the happiness of you all. You know labor lagged dignity or you all labored hard to take away dignity from labor. You hated labor but enjoyed its fruit. That is your history. Prime Minister Honorable Dr. Manmohan Singh Ji, uh, I remember that he once once made a statement that uh, uh, caste discrimination is worse than apartheid. Sixty years have passed. Our exclusion remains. The two societies remain with all their divisiveness. Mutual distrust and hatred are only growing. Yes, as it looks now, the gap between the rich and the poor is going to widen. Uh, caste system really declares that all human beings cannot be treated equally. You can only place people in caste system in an hierarchical position. The structures are there, you know. The, you, can't, you can't see the structures. It's not a building. But you know, uh, it is so deeply ingrained into our minds, in Indian minds in India, in Sri Lanka, in Pakistan, in Bangladesh, you know, this caste system prevailed. Wherever Indians went, the caste system still prevails. Who will end this and when? You have taken away our rights, only you can give them back all our rights. Make your private public. <laughs> Even after 60 years of independence in India, we are able to get a political space only in as much as the caste society decides, not according to our proportion of population, not according to the strengths that we can manifest. But we have to simply take the political space that the caste society gives in this democracy. What the Dalit groups and the Dalit movement is trying to see that the implementation of all the schemes and the laws, which is a must. So there is this good intention at least to see to that the Dalits get benefit out of you know, the law, legislation, affirmative action. So if that really reaches the people, that will be good. What government must do is to really see and monitor that these benefits really go to the people. When their rights are violated, that, the, that they should get protection from the government. Uh, so the intention and the implementation should meet together. Caste system is very much influencing the functioning of constitutional instruments and mechanisms in India. That is the evil, that is what we need to avoid. 
this is not a concern of the Dalits alone that way. It is a global con concern. All those countries and people who are concerned about the establishment and functioning of democracy must have a relook at the way Indian democracy under a constitution is functioning. Actually, it is not functioning that like in many other democratic countries. Indian constitution is in the firm grip of the caste forces of India. This is the first thing that needs to happen.